Welcome back to Some the Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Phantom Brigade. Now this is a game that has like a turn-based slash real-time uh, combat gameplay. It's essentially like a synchronous turn-based combat game but it has like really amazing graphics and I really love the way that's implemented. It's a normal day in a military camp. No stress. Look at us! This is what we're wearing. This is us in this beautiful mecha suit. We're pretty epic. Sorry to strap you in so early today, Lieutenant, but we'll have to cut our checks short. We've lost the town comms last night, and I'd like you to take a look at the tower we have half a click north from here. Yeah. So the first thing it wants us to do is just move, so we can just click on it, and we're going to tell it to run, and just tell it to go where we hey, need Lieutenant, to go. We're still installing the prototype in my rig, so don't hog all the action till I catch up. Yes, it's not the most exciting test run of our new tech, but we've got people here counting on us, so let's move out. Whoa, what happened here? <laughs> Probably just some damn rowdy civilians. HQ, this is Special Field Ops Team Bravo requesting immediate repair detail, over. This is HQ, negative commander. Repair detail busy until further notice. Stand by. What could they be busy with? Well, let's see if we can't do a little more recon. Boot up that shiny new device Ops installed in your rig and we'll see what she's made of. All right, so this is essentially a device that allows you to predict what will happen. So we're gonna, so you can see the timeline here, and as we're gonna be doing things. Oh, to scout one side of the tower. If she's warmed up, you should be able to see where I'm moving and flank the opposite side. We're gonna be able to see the movement or prediction movement of the enemy. Now, one thing to really keep in mind is that this game does have friendly fire, which uh, can get quite confusing. So you gotta be really, really careful because there are certain anim uh, characters that have weapons that are just like a laser beam. And so what happened to me in my test game, I just like completely murdered my own character because the laser beam was just so long. It was like, oops. So you gotta be a little bit careful about this and kind of keep in mind where your people are so that you don't end up shooting at yourself. So like you want to flank the enemy, but you don't want to like flank it precisely. <laughs> some surprise war games maneuver hq we have an unmarked non-cooperative tank at location 2 sbr 15 confirm intent over hq confirm over lieutenant i'm getting a heat signature from the tank's power core check your prototype if that tank even twitches cripple it so now you can see that the tank is planning to attack so you can see how it moves and what it's going to do. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to run over here and I'm going to attack. You can attack while you're moving and you can see that if I attack at this time, point in time it will give me 95% chance to hit it. And then I'll add a second attack around here which will allow me to hit it again. And each turn takes up to 5 seconds. So you can give up ac actions for up to 5 seconds. And you can, you can attack and move at the same time but you can't obviously attack like with two different weapons at the attack. same time. Just a scratch. What? I'm picking up multiple targets from the north. My god, this can't be right. Take cover! Take cover! On it, Bob. Let's run over here and take cover. This is no war game. Commander, multiple contacts just appeared on our forward slope. Weapons ready. Treat us hostile. This is not a drill. Intercept and protect the town. We're on our way. Roger, heading out. HQ, come in. HQ, do you read? Pinned down by two tracks. Returning fire. Got one. Shit, a walker. Lieutenant, get the... Commander? Commander! Defensive position. The commander's down, but we have to focus. We have citizens to protect. 
We're ready to die for us. I like that. <laughs> There's a walker and multiple treads on approach. Remember, if things go to hell, set self-destruct and punch out so they can't salvage our prototype. Whatever happens, let's meet at evac point R09. That's so distracting. You're like crazy. You're insane. Not happening. All right. So this guy has the laser beam. So I'm going to be a little bit careful with him and don't like end up in a weird position because otherwise he'll just... Um, I'll just drop the enemy down. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit an attack. And we're going to try to attack this middle tank. So he's going to focus his, his attack over there. Next, I'm going to grab my second character, this one. Because she has this ability... No, not this one. Because she has the ability to shield. And we're going to run with her like next to him, essentially. And we're going to set up a shield in the direction of the enemy as soon as she gets there. Wait, can I... I, I want them to sort of extend next to each other. So let's maybe move like wait. we'll move with we'll move with her from removal uh let's say there and we'll set up the shield in that direction i don't know if it like help protects him as well we'll see we'll put the shield here and then We're gonna attack. Her chances of attack are essentially zero, but I guess we'll try because there's like nothing better to do. And then with my third character, we're gonna start try to run this way behind this little little house. And then as soon as we get there, we're gonna start hitting this sort of mecha suit of the enemy. Now this here is um the each each sort of mecha suit or a tank is split into four parts so the upper body this is determining like like it kills the pilot ejects when this part is critically damaged Le left and right part are control of secondary and main weapon so if you destroy one of those they can't use that type of a weapon and lower body will lower your speed so let's see how this kind of movement here is going to work but hopefully it will work out okay so let's just try this yeah, you can see that I'm doing some nice damage onto this guy over there. You can see that I destroyed most of this particular car. And I, can, I can click replay so I can see like what's happening where, where who is taking them. So you can see that they destroyed some of these trees so it won't give us as good of a cover anymore. So I definitely want to start with the, with the beam guy. The beam guy, I think, is just going to hit this particular thing. So I think he should be able to destroy it. And we got to be careful not to stand in this beam. So uh, this character cannot move forward too much. Okay, so that's really important to keep that in mind. So um, the cadet has to kind of make sure that she's standing behind this beam. Otherwise, she's going to get hit. So I'm going to move them here. And then I'm going to start at uh, attacking this uh, she also should have set up a shield for herself against that tank but I think it's just going to start moving there and shooting a little bit now with this last one who's hiding behind the behind the the little house I think we'll just shoot twice and I think then we'll sort of try to fall back because I'm assuming they're going to be, be hitting pretty hard. No, I didn't mean immediately. I want to run. Yeah, okay. Uh, we got we to gotta change this. We're going to wait first. Just for a little while. So we're going to shoot twice, wait, and then we're going to start running backwards. And then I want to shoot a few more times onto this like mech suit or the tank, whichever is closest. So let's give that a shot. So you can see he's straight up going with the beam. So he's immediately hitting this tank like crazy. She was able to move around pretty well. And she got the shield so she, the cadet isn't getting hurt too much. Okay, so we destroyed the tank. Now our beam guy is really doing the most damage. I really like him. I think he's kind of the coolest. And what do we have left? So this is so we have this one hostile tank, two hostile tanks. So we'll go with the beam against this hostile tank just like straight up ahead. And I think that's it. This we're going to be doing the whole time. Now, 
here with my lieutenant, I want to start attacking this. Oh, it's blocked. Okay, so we're gonna have to move a little bit closer here just so we can get like a good shot. And we're just gonna keep hitting this tank. Like we're just going at it with everything we have. Every single type of weapon that we've got, we'll just go all in. And that's it. And then with my last character here, I think I'm gonna try to fall back a little bit behind this house. And then we're gonna start shooting at this little tank that's coming towards us. Let's do one more. Okay, so let's execute this and see how, to, see how this goes. So she's falling back. This middle tank is getting destroyed by my beam, beam guy. And the others... Oh, so uh, interesting thing about this uh, cadet is that she has like a multi-attack. So you can see this. So, we, so you can see how important it's to be to be careful about your positioning. Because it's like if you don't move right your own people could get hurt, which obviously we don't want to happen. Beam guy is going to fall back a little bit, and then he's just going to use his beam on this thing. And then finally, my lieutenant... I think my lieutenant will just go to town on this little tank. Just go. Don't even bother. We're only going to use our secondary weapon because it gets a better chance to hit. So let's execute. Yeah, the moment the beam guy gets in the game, it's just like destroyed. Alright. Squad X started early, all objectives complete, so we protected the city as we need to be. Almost at the cliff! Go, go, go! Ooh, I like that. Anyone can hear me. We have people counting on us to retake what they've taken from us. Even if we are the last ones left. Also, why is the cadet giving out the orders when you have a lieutenant with us? Oh no, it's my city. Beam guy! You guys are bad. All local time threads are converging. There's nothing more we can do here. Is it finally time for some shut eye? No. Not today. I mean, I really want to play this game when it fully comes out. By the time we realized what was happening, it was too late. We were at war. The border towns and cities were hit first. Communications cut, and residents chased from their homes. In their place, they erected military outposts that still watch us to this day. We fought back, and for a while, we even held down the capital. But we were outmaneuvered and outnumbered. Outgunned. Eventually, those of us who didn't surrender had to escape. For years, the government has operated in exile. Along with the Home Guard, the remaining remnants of our country's military, they have been fighting tirelessly against impossible odds. But they can't do it alone. We answer to no one, nothing but the call. And now, after years of training, preparing, waiting, the Phantom Brigade is coming home. Let's go. Wow. 
welcome home. You peered at the vast stretch of land before you, your home, and now battleground. It is as familiar as an old friend with its deceptively quiet mountains and fields. At your back, your crew awaits your orders. You need supplies, parts, place to bunker down. Pilot points to a spot on the map directly ahead of you, Falheim Base, which once belonged to the homeland in the days before the war. Will it belong to you once again? Alright, so we, here we can see our objectives. I can pause the time it needed. Okay, and we're moving towards the base. Valham base, once a mining facility later retrofitted as an emergency storage depot, then the invaders came. Like everything else, it fell into enemy hands. We're thinking it too, right? Asked Kipelet, grinning. We can capture the facility we'd have a home base to fall back to if we needed it. We'd get us a foothold in the province and hit them hard while we're at it. It's an opportunity you can't pass up. Alright. Day one. Is that an intact crawler? I think we start gold here. Finally, a way to repair and refit these rusty mechs. I can't wait to do it. Bravo, we're seeing two mechs approaching from the west, requesting immediate support. I'm getting a negative response on my IFF. Treat these walkers as hostile. More enemies coming. Use cover to avoid damage and eliminate enemies quickly to keep things under control. Alright, so we can see our main objectives within two turns is eliminate all hostiles or they get reinforcements. So we gotta hurry or we're in trouble. Uh, Kyle has just normal weapons. Does anybody get beam? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's start running. I guess I'll start running that way. And then we'll start attacking this, whatever this is. I'll attack it also once more, like before that. And then Kylo here, your job is to run that way and attack this on the way. We'll try to attack sort of the first tank on the way. We'll see how well it goes, but... Yeah, they, they don't seem to be hitting me that hard, so we're pretty good. Now we gotta be a little bit careful not to sort of hit our own person here because no, this is not a good attack. Actually, this one's almost dead. My second character can most definitely hand handle him, so I think we'll just okay. We're, we're gonna have to go at this one, so we're gonna try to move this way, and then we're gonna attack this. Now we gotta make sure that our heat indicator is not too high, so that we don't get like overheated. No, this is a bad attack. Okay, so this way we can make sure that we're not gonna overheat ourselves. So this is like a chance, I guess this is like a chance of overheating. Oh, I have to wait a really long time to get that attack. So I'll try to do it like this. This way we won't get overheating. Overheat. And then here, this should just be like a small attack at this. And then we're going to go back that way. No. I'm going to wait until this point. Then I want to run that way and do one more attack on this, just in case it's not destroyed by them. Okay. Let's execute this. Yeah, okay, good. So I don't actually even need to shoot the rest. It's just gonna... Oh, it shoots anyway. I kind of thought that it wouldn't shoot if, if we, like, know that the enemies are destroyed. Okay. Okay. 
Gaging, let's deal with them and report to command. There's been no activity here for a while. I've no idea who these walkers are. We did kill them. Oh, we didn't kill this one in time. Okay, I was like, thought we already finished it, but apparently that was not the case. Um, let's try to run. That way, and then we'll start shooting at this one. And here, I think we just need to keep shooting at the one that's like in front of me. And we'll also wait, I think, at the beginning for a moment. No, actually, you know what? Let's just run here and then we'll wait a bit. And then we'll sort of run a little bit out when we're trying to shoot again. Yeah, if I wanted to be like really careful, what I should be doing is essentially this. Making sure that it's sort of running back and forth and hiding. And then shooting again only once. Uh, I think this would be like the proper way to do it. But I don't know if we want to spend that much time on it. So I think we'll probably just, you know. But yeah, you can see it has sort of, he has some kind of cover right now and then he's gonna move outside, shoot, and then again, like, you know. Okay, that thing got destroyed, so that worked out well. And then we gotta shoot at this one. And then my second character is just going to go straight up and shoot as soon as she can. Or he can. And I should probably set up a shield as well. No. Okay, in that case we'll also just like move that way just so we have a bit of a better cover I'm running like a coward I don't think it's going to super help him but Unfortunately, so are we. So we're definitely gonna need to go, like, fall back there. And I think we might just actually have to hide for a moment. And then here, we're just gonna run towards this and then start hitting the guy. Let's just try to hide just like here. Not like full on attack. Just kind of like hide there. So you can get a shot at us essentially. Why are you not shooting? Come on. <laughs> How is he missing? He's just like two millimeters away from him. He's like, no. Apparently <laughs> can't hit him. And then we'll start, okay, he's moving that way, so we'll start moving this way. But first, I think we need to wait for like a, a second, just so we can get that first shot in. And then we'll start running this way, so that we're safe. And I guess I could try and attack, but I don't think it's gonna hit. And then with my second character, we're gonna run down here. And then we could shoot that way. Yeah, that's that. Unfortunately, missed that.
I'm gonna prep in position, wait for him to get close, and then shoot. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, we almost got him. And then we gotta go back this way. And here we're gonna run towards him. And then we're gonna shoot on the way. Sounds blocked though. So I guess after that we could run this way and then shoot again. We're gonna be in the open, but I think we get just one more hit. Actually, I don't know if that's gonna work. I guess we'll try, but. All right, so let's fall back. So we got some protection. We'll give ourselves a shield from him. And then after a while, we're gonna try to shoot like this way. And then with Kylo. We'll run, I guess we'll run there. We'll wait a bit and then we'll, I don't know, run that way and then we'll shoot. Yeah, there it goes. Great. Got it. Alright, all his stars eliminated and we got the base. Took a bit longer than it needed, but that's okay. Alright, so here we can see what we can sabotage, and we can also get a yield from enemy units. So we can click on different things to sort of try to recover them. But it costs us some sort of budget to try to salvage it, so we don't, uh, we won't always be able to get like all everything. We have to kind of pick and choose which ones we're getting. Now we have gotten now our base of customization. So the way the going works is that there's going to be a uh, Mac customization screen where you can sort of edit your Mac if you need to. So we can change like the primary weapon and equip whatever we want. So we can set up different groups and etc. And here you can see that we can go to our different pilots. So we can see what kind of pilots we have and assign them to different weapons. We can change out who, which pilots go where. Then we can go back here to see our world. So here we can move to different uh, missions it looks like like points of interest and then here you can see which units i have so i can edit out my yeah we were already here okay and yeah and lastly here we have our inventory so we can see like what do we have we can also try to rest resupply recruit new units and etc all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games that you play on this channel see you there bye bye